In Absinthe, there's a cool way to mangle samples, and it's called Sample Jump. Let me show you that now. We'll start by pulling up a sample, and I happen to have a loop out on my desktop. We'll just use that. And let me play a key on my keyboard. Now before we get to Sample Jump, what happens if I play another key on my keyboard? Obviously, that's not what we want. We need some way to always make sure the loop stays at the same tempo. And to do that, we need to define a fixed frequency or note. I'll use note and set it to 60, middle C, so it will always send a middle C, no matter what key I play on my keyboard. Okay, now that we have our sample defined, we can set up a sample jump envelope. It only works for samples. We do that from the envelope page. We choose new, and there under oscillator A, you'll see oscillator A sample jump. And of course, we can use any templates that we've saved or that come with the factory library. So here's what it looks like. It's not an envelope at all. It's actually the sample, but it's divided up into sections. And we can change what portion of the sample plays in each one of these sections. And we can add, delete, or move these sections. So by default, Absinthe has defined four different sections. So we'll change this around a little bit. To start with, we can slide these markers around. Right now we're aligned to our grid, but we can turn grid off, of course. And then in each section, we can move the little double red arrow back and forth to change what portion of the sample will play in that section. This parameter tells me the position of the breakpoint, and the percentage area tells me what percentage of the sample will play between the two breakpoints. Zero is at the start, 100% is at the end. So we can drag it or we can use the percentage to change it. Now let's adjust some of these breakpoints. We can move them around, we can delete them. Now I've added a couple more sections. And I can even change the mode. We can work, for example, in loop mode. So now my sample sections will loop between the loop markers. So we'll move this right about there. Let's move the loop marker forward a little bit. Okay, now let's hear what this sounds like. A little strange, but you get an idea of how we can really mangle these loops. And of course, I can change my grid, I can add as many markers as I want, and I can really do some crazy stuff using sample jump. So Sample Jump works with different modes, not just loop and sustain, but even control driven. So for example, I can assign a mod wheel to control the position in my Sample Jump. Moving the mod wheel back and forth scrolls to a different portion of my sample. So that's a look at Sample Jump. Remember that it only works when your oscillator is set to Sample.